You want to be extra rigorous about making the best possible thing you can. Find everything that's wrong with it and fix it. Seek negative feedback, particularly from friends. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. Great companies are built on great products. I don't create companies for the sake of creating companies, but to get things done. Patience is a virtue, and I'm learning patience. It's a tough lesson. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. A company is a group organized to create a product or service and it is only as good as its people and how excited they are about creating. Any product that needs a manual to work is broken. Constantly seek criticism. A well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. The path to the CEO's office should not be through the CFO's office, and it should not be through the marketing department. It needs to be through engineering and design. I say something. And then it usually happens. Maybe not on schedule, but it usually happens. I think we are at the dawn of a new era in commercial space exploration. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. Focus on the skills that will be valuable in the future. Adaptability and critical thinking are key. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The more you ask, the more you learn. Challenge the status quo. Innovation comes from thinking differently and pushing boundaries. Success is not about the grades you get. It's about the skills you develop and the problems you can solve. Your education doesn't end in the classroom. Embrace a lifelong journey of curiosity and exploration. 
Knowledge is like a tree. The deeper the roots, the stronger the branches. Never stop learning. Don't just follow the trend, start the trend. Be the one creating, not just consuming. The most important thing for students is not to follow someone else's path, but to find their own. Learn to be comfortable with failure. It's a stepping stone to success. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Be the architect of your own destiny. The future is electric, and if I have anything to do with it, it'll be powered by memes too. If YOLO is the motto, then YOLOX is the way of life. You only launch once, unless it's a SpaceX reusable rocket. People ask me what it's like to be the CEO of both Tesla and SpaceX. Well, it's like trying to juggle flaming chainsaws while riding a unicycles on Mars. They say failure is not an option. Well, when you're designing rockets, failure is not just an option. It's an inevitability. But hey, at least we go out with a bang. Why worry about artificial intelligence taking over the world when we can't even get our auto-correct to stop changing rocket scientist to pocket scientist? The best teacher is your own experience. You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. Life is too short for long-term grudges. Focus on the present and create a better future. If something is important enough, even if the odds are stacked against you, you should still do it. Don't confuse education with schooling. I didn't go to Harvard, but people who work for me did. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. My biggest mistake is probably weighing too much on someone's talent and not someone's personality. I think it matters whether someone has a good heart. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is a disaster. 